In A Plague Tale Innocence, we play as this 15-year-old girl named Amicia Darun. It's set in the year 1348 in France. After the beginning tutorial, we go back to the house with her father, Lord Robert de Rune. Amicia is very distant from her mother, Beatrice, and her brother, Hugo, and it's hinted that they don't spend much time together at all because of some mysterious sickness that Hugo has. Then their house is attacked by some soldiers who execute the father on the spot. Beatrice, the mother, guides Hugo and Amicia out of their home safely before the scene where the mother is seemingly stabbed on the other side of this door. Like, literally, the sword goes through the door and there's blood on it. Literally both her parents get bodied within the first 10 minutes of the game. The whole game is centered around the rats trying to heal Hugo of his sickness and the fact that Amicia and Hugo barely know each other, but mainly trying to help Hugo. Then there are suddenly these rats popping up out of the ground in huge waves, which fortunately help us escape from the soldiers at our house. Also, they carry the plague, which they call the bite, and they're incredibly vicious and will devour a whole human in mere seconds. Next, we try to find this alchemist named Laurentius who can supposedly help Hugo, but he dies from the bite and then we adopt his son Lucas into our group, who is an apprentice alchemist under his father. Then we find this old castle, the Chateau d'Ombrage where Lucas tells us the disease that Hugo has is called the Prima Macula. Then we find this pair of thieves, a brother and a sister, named Arthur and Melly, and they rescue us from some soldiers. Then we go to the city of Guienne to find this certain book at a university, where we meet this son of a blacksmith, Roderick, and he helps us find the book, the Sanguinis Itinera. While there, we overhear that this guy Vitalis, who is the leader of the Inquisition, which I think is the soldiers trying to kill us, Vitalis wants to dominate the world using Hugo and the Macula, but it's like, how is he gonna do that? A couple of weeks pass. Turns out their mother is alive, but being tortured for information. And Hugo, after hearing that, gets a lot worse and he almost dies. Then Lucas and Amicia find the mother's old lab. They make a nice potion to help Hugo, and it turns out there was the Justinian Plague, which had basically the same situation with the rats and stuff. After taking the elixir that Lucas made, Hugo feels a lot better and immediately dips to go and try to find his mother. His mother and Vitalis keep talking about some thresholds that Hugo is passing in the macula. Turns out after passing the first one, he can control the rats with his mind. Yeah. But then he fails to rescue his mother and is captured by the Inquisition. And also Vitalis literally puts some of Hugo's blood into his own. After a couple weeks, the Chateau d'Ambrage is overcome by the rats, despite it being very effective at keeping the rats back until that point. Then it becomes clear why. Captain Nicholas of the Inquisition had come with Hugo at his side, because Hugo was brainwashed. But thankfully, Amicia is able to get through to Hugo, but Arthur, Melly's brother, is killed by the Captain Nicholas. May he rest in peace, because he was, like, the only love interest for Amicia. Then Amicia, Hugo, Lucas, Melly, and Roderick all go to defeat Vitalis, and at this point, it's becoming clear that Amicia is starting to lose control of her anger. And then Roderick, the champion that he is, sacrificed himself to save Amicia and Hugo. I'm sorry. How could this happen? But anyway, there's a huge boss battle with Vitalis, and he can like control some hairless rats that I think he created. And he can control them because he has Hugo's blood flowing in his own. But eventually Vitalis is killed, the mother is fine, the rats are seemingly gone, and the plague as well. Meli left on her own, the city of Guyenne was destroyed, and so all that's left of the group is Amicia, Hugo, Beatrice, the mother, and Lucas.